So there are three main uh, categories of mounting systems. The ground mounted systems, the pole mounted systems and the roof mounted. Ground, pole and roof mounted. So let's look at a couple of examples, a couple of photos. So this is a, an example of a ground mounted system. Very easy to inspect, very easy to maintain, relatively easy to install as well. Uh, of course you need to have the space available. Uh, you need to make sure that there's no shading on the panels due to some kind of bushes or uh, obstacles around the ground mounted system. Um, so that's a, an example of a ground mounted system. Here's a pole mounted. I think it's unlikely that you'll use the pole mounted, but sometimes they come with specific, well, they come with specific advantages that in certain situations can really be advantageous. Um, so one clear one is that they are less prone to theft, right? Certain locations around the world, uh, solar modules tend to be uh, uh, stolen. Um, so they're less prone to theft and this is also a more advanced kind of pole mounted system whereby there's a tracker on it so it follows the the location of the sun whereby the panels will always be perpendicular to the sun rays so that's a pole mounted and probably what you'll use is something like this a roof mounted system whereby your modules are mounted straight to the frames and then the frames are attached to your roof and then the way in which the frames are attached to your roof can really depend on what uh, type of roof you have and what your preference is uh, there's plenty of different kind of brackets out there available so since I assume that you'll be going for the, the roof mounted system, let me run you through a theoretical case of the different components that you might come across as you're shopping for mounting systems. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. So I'm assuming you have a wooden roof structure. So you've got your rafters, you have your roof, and then you place a bit of a sealant on the place where you'll penetrate your roof structure. You have flashing on top of that in order to, to hold the sealant in place. Then you have the, the bracket itself. So the bracket comes on top of the flashing, the screw, the bolt, whatever, something that, that you use to affix then this whole set to watch your roof will go through the flashing and the sealant and remember that you normally always affix the the bolt or the screw straight in your rafter so in the main structure not in your roof structure right you want to have a proper grip in it and then you mount the railing so the actual railing straight to your bracket through bolts or whatever that comes with it and then nowadays most of the times you clamp the solar module to your railing in the old days, we sometimes used to bolt the, the frames of, a, of your module straight to the railing. But nowadays it's done with clamps, which gives a couple of advantages because it's easier to, to orientate, to, to place the module exactly the way you want. So this is a, a typical setup of what a, a mounting system may look like for a, a roof mounted structure. But it really depends on which manufacturer you choose to go for. So just for fun, let's take a small exercise and let's look at what kind of uh, brackets are available for, let's assume you have a metal roof. You have some kind of a corrugated metal roof and you would want to know what kind of mounting systems are available and what kind of brackets you can find there in the market. Now, there are plenty, plenty of manufacturers that uh, can supply you with all these uh, mounting systems. And I am just picking one, I'm picking S5 s-5.com i am not affiliated with this company i'm also not saying it's good or bad i just want to show you uh, what kind of systems are out there so you can start to think about it and see what your options are so let's scroll all the way down here to the bottom and let's go to the products the metal the metal brackets right because i'm assuming you have a metal metal roof and here we are so when you scroll down a little bit you can see that they've got plenty of options depending on what the exact structure of your roof looks like. Um, you can also choose where your screws will be at the at the bottom or at the top of the of the wave. I personally really appreciate when the screws are as high as possible. Uh, I think it's just the logic, it's just common sense, right? That you have a lower risk of corrosion and of leakage uh, when your screws are at the, the top of the wave. And then when you scroll down, there's a few more options there. So these ones I personally like as well, um, because they already have an increased standoff from the, the top of your roof, right? Because remember, uh, solar modules, when they are directly in the sun and there's very little wind, and they're baking in the sun, their output can be significantly reduced due to the increase 
in the temperature of the modules. So if you can ensure sufficient ventilation, natural ventilation behind the panels, uh, it is possible that you can substantially uh, increase your performance or at least mitigate the negative impact of the increased temperature of your modules. So these kind of brackets, they already facilitate the, uh, the space behind your modules and your roof in order to get natural ventilation. So you see here, there's like, depending on what kind of roof structure you have, there's all the different options. Um, so you can browse through that if it is as your interest. And here there's something interesting where here you can see the, the, um, the clamps that I'm talking about, right? So you have the bracket mounted to the roof. You cannot see the flashing and the ceiling, but it's behind there. I believe these kind of brackets already come uh, pre-manufactured with the sealant on the brackets, which is quite interesting. And then here you have the clamp that's just clamping down the module to the to the frames, to the brackets. And you can see that you can clamp two in one, right? So depending on whether it will be uh, interconnection between two modules or by the end, you need to order the appropriate clamp and bracket. So that's just an example of brackets and of a manufacturer supplier. Uh, so just to give you a bit of an idea of what it is that I'm actually talking about.